Today I'm going to show you how to put together a beautiful prom makeup look with four simple steps. Protect, prime, apply, and seal. So we're going to start off with protect. And so you should probably put on your prom dress first. That way when you pull it on you don't get makeup over it. But you also don't want makeup to fall onto it. So I recommend putting on your dress and then putting on a t-shirt over top. That way everything is protected and covered. And next up is prime. So when it comes to your face, you want to make sure that it has everything you need, including your lips. So I'm going to be using my favorite Lush Lip Scrub. But if you don't have a Lush Lip Scrub or a Lip Scrub at all, I'm going to link down in the description bar my video that shows you how to make a DIY lip scrub with things that you already have. So this is going to be perfect for prom, especially if you have a date that you might be locking lips with. You want your lips to be beautiful and smooth and just ready for anything. And also you can lick this one off, which is awesome. And then right after you want to make sure that you apply a lip balm, that way your lips stay nice and moisturized. So now you have to moisturize your face, so I'm using my Cetaphil moisturizer and just running that all over to make sure that I have a nice smooth canvas for whatever I put on top. And lastly is just to apply a primer, you can use whichever one you like best, I just used my everyday one, it doesn't really matter. And now it's time to apply. So I'm starting off with a redness control foundation from Clinique. And I'm just applying this with a little brush, but then I sort of figured that my finger would be easier to apply with, so I sort of switched to that. But I'm applying this to all the red areas of my face, which is pretty much in my T-zone. But then I also covered my acne a little bit, because obviously acne is red. So I use that to sort of control the redness in my acne areas. And you can see this is a little bit dark for my skin, but that's okay. You're gonna see in a little bit that we're sort of mixing a lot of colors together and then we're going to seal it all in with one final foundation. So that's what I'm using this guy for and now I'm going in with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer to just cover up any more acne that I think needs a little bit more coverage. As you can see this is a bit lighter than the foundation that I just put on but like I said we're going to make sure that it's an even canvas very soon. So now I'm going to be concealing my under eye circles, but don't use anything that says that it's brightening because then when there are pictures taken, it's going to look like you have sort of a white ring underneath your eyes. So I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer and this covers dark circles amazingly. And as you can see, it's just a little bit lighter, so it's still going to add a brightening effect to my face without actually creating that white uh, line underneath your eyes in every picture. It's the same thing as using something with SPF in it. It creates like that white cast over top of your face. So this is a great one to go with. And now I'm going to be using my Pro Longwear Foundation from MAC. And this is obviously long wearing, which is really important, but it's just going to even out all the different colors that I have on my face at this point. So it sort of seals everything in, make sure that everything matches, and make sure that everything is going to stay all night long. And now we're done with our foundation. So now I'm going in with my eyebrows. You can do whatever you want with your eyebrows. I'm just doing my normal thing with the shadow, but if you want something more defined, you go, Glen Coco. I always prime my eyes, but for events like this, it's really important that you do it because you're going to be out all night long. You want to make sure that your eyeshadow stays on all night and also stays really vibrant all night. So definitely have to prime. And now I'm going to apply a gold cream shadow all over my eye. You want to make sure that it's pretty vibrant because this is sort of a gold bronze look. So you just want to put that all over your eyelid and then blend up into the crease area just a little bit. And now I'm applying a little bit of a darker gold color all over my lid. This is just going to add a little bit more dimension to the eye besides it just being plain gold. And once again, to enhance that dimension, I'm going in with a gold color now and applying it right to the center of my lids just to make my eyes look really wide and doll-like almost. In my 
crease, I'm using a pretty natural crease color, but I wanted something that would just enhance it enough to just add a little bit of drama, but still make it sort of natural and bronze. As you can see, it sort of blends in and creates sort of an orangey color, which I think is perfect, exactly what we want for this. Now I'm taking that gold cream shadow and I'm running that underneath my eyes and then I'm applying quite a bit of it right in my inner corner and this is going to be the highlight for this look and it's just going to really brighten up your eyes and once again make them look super golden. And now I'm going in with a gel liner and I'm just applying this super messy, just sort of a thicker line than what I would usually do, especially since it's going to be so messy, but we're going to blend it all out so you can see I'm not really trying, I'm just trying to add that darkness in. And now I'm using a brown shadow to start blending that out and you just want to blend it out as much as you can. It's going to be a little bit difficult because it is a gel liner so it doesn't blend super easily but this is really going to do the trick for the most part. And now I'm using that original gold shadow and running that all over top of that darker area and that's going to make it all blend perfectly and that's going to add a wonderful shadow and make your eyelashes look so much bolder than they already are. And now it's mascara time. You can apply false lashes if you want, but I'm just going to apply a little bit of dramatic mascara. But, you know, girl, up to you. So I'm showing you right there the way that you should apply your bronzer for this look. It's basically a straight line from the apples of your cheeks back to your ear. And this is going to create a really bronze glowing look to your skin. This is my favorite way to apply bronzer. And I'm also going to apply it in that little E and 3 shape that you've heard so much about on YouTube. That's just really going to help contour your face and give it the perfect glow. So I'm taking a break from my cheeks to apply Poisy Tint by Benefit, and I think it's really important to use a tinted lip color underneath whatever you put on top of your lips because you're going to be out all night, you're not going to be touching up as often, so you want a color that will stay underneath whatever you put on top of it. So I think this is a really great option. Poisy Tint's my favorite. And now I'm just applying a cream blush color just that way. Once again, it'll really stay all night, so that's really important, even if you're going to add a blush on top of that, which I do. I just apply a bit of this sort of bright pink blush very lightly, just over top of the area where we already have blush, and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit. You just want it to look really flush, like you're sort of, sort of like a blushing bride type of look. That's really what you want on your cheeks. And now I'm applying a matte lip color, it's sort of a dusty rose color, but over top of the Poisy tint, it's a little bit of a brighter pink. And I just think it's a nice contrast from the sort of shimmer that you have on your eyes to have a matte lip. And the last thing that you're going to do is just apply a highlight color. This is the wonderful highlight color from the Balm. It's called Mary Luminizer. It is just the best. So I'm applying that to all the right places. And don't forget your cupid's bow because that's going to add that pop to your lips that you really need. And now it's time to seal it all in, so I'm just using a moisturizing spray from Urban Decay, but that might make your face look a little bit oily, so I recommend uh, just applying some sort of um, powder over top of the areas where you'll get a little bit oily. For me, that's my T-zone, so I'm just doing that really quickly just to make sure that I don't look oily or get oily later in the night. And now you're finished. I am just totally in love with this look. I didn't go to prom, but this is totally the look that I would want to rock at prom. I just think it's beautiful. Your lashes look wonderful with that shadow that we added, and I just think that it's wonderful. It's going to last all night. It's great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social networks, and you click the like button on this video. Thank you again for watching. Be kind to one another. Bye, guys.